Hello, welcome back to another video. This is part two of the garden walk that Dan and I went on a while back. If you haven't watched part one already, I highly recommend you go watch that because that is gardens one and two. And this video is gardens three through six. So I'm editing it right now and realized I didn't have any kind of introduction for it because at the time I'm filming it, I thought it would all be one video. So what you're about to see is garden number three, and then I do actually go through and sort of introduce the other gardens. This garden, number three, was really unique because it was a lot of container garden, like container plants and things, but she also had everything labeled. So uh, we were able to actually identify what a lot of the things were. So I hope that you enjoy and yeah, here's garden walk part two. I didn't know those could have crutches. Oh, well. <laughs> dear, dear. They need, well, usually they lay way. a lot of these on the ground and just let them go, but they wanted them up where you can see him better. Yeah. So is, is, is that technically a vine? No. It's almost like a bonsai tree, but there is a name. It's at the end. It's huh. at the end. So yeah. Kind of oh, yeah. Pinus banksiana. Yeah, yeah, Pino Spanxana. That's amazing. I didn't know, know pines, there were pines that could do that. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, put it with the pine cones. Wow. Huh. Huh. And flowers. I, I love the labels. Yeah, so very. I appreciate that so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Takes out all the guesswork. This is really pretty with the bright yep. yellow leaves. Oh yep. my goodness. Yeah, it looks like it's a giant flower. Yeah. Oh, those are pretty. Wow. Clematis, Jeff, Josephine, Josephine. Ah. Ooh. Well, I love all the labels. And look, look at all the Snapdragons. So we need to plant ours and not pick the uh, heads off. Yes. Look at, look at these. How pretty are those? <laughs> Super Bell Double Blue. Persian, sh oh, that's the one in the back, which is really cool. Oh, the Persian really Shield. Cool. Looking at that makes me think of the black panther. Yeah, for yeah. real. This one doesn't have a label, but oh. that's mm -hmm. pretty. I love the stepping stones. How fun are those? So. The stepping stone, I love. Like, this has a car in it. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know what this Oh my goodness, that is really is. cool. Yeah. Black Mondo Grass. Huh. Renucleuse? <laughs> Stand by me. Oh, okay. That's called. Stand by me. <laughs> Those are really cool, huh? They're like hanging out upside down. Oh, look at That's like, it's like fuzzy on the inside. Oh, yeah? Look at that. Oh, cute. <laughs> so cute. It's crazy. The outside is like so glossy. Mm -hmm. Oh amazing. my goodness. That, that is out. a pretty container garden with the like, black and white. Yeah. That that's is gorgeous. Really well arranged. That's really impressive. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Wow. There's something that. about black flowers that are just so like mesmerizing to look at. Mm -hmm. Jump up his thumb. Look at that. Look at all those. Yep, gentle. So the tiny little buckets with flowers. That's a really cute idea. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the succulents. <laughs> of course. It wouldn't be complete without a succulent. It wouldn't be complete without a succulent. Mm -hmm. Look at how fun. <gasps> oh, Julie, you got to Oh, hold on. I'm looking at succulents. Sorry. <laughs> You and your succulents. Have you seen black petunias before? No. <laughs> no. And so, yeah, I didn't know they existed, but there they are. Aren't this fantastic? Oh, my goodness. The curly cues. That's so cool. Not, nautilus. There we go. That's so cool. And the ferns. I love all the different white flowers. Like, oh, the, I mean, these are fake, but I mean, it's still pretty. 
Oh my goodness, the container gardens are so pretty. Campari hibiscus to the midnight marble. Oh yeah, just look at how pretty that is. These are lovely. Oh, and like the pinwheel, that's so pretty too. Oh wow, it goes all the way down the hill. Chokeberry. Brilliant. Oh wow. No. Nope. Birds in the trees yelling at us. Oh wow, yeah, it goes all the way down. It's all the way down this whole hill. Firework Sundays. Scotch pine. Oh, those are pretty, these purple ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Lead plant. Huckster periwinkle butterfly bush. Oh. Interesting. Huckster. Interesting. Georgia blue. Creeping speedwell. Kent winter sweet Kent beauty. Oh, ornamental oregano. Mm. Yeah, here you go. Gillardia. Spend top red. All of these. What is that? False indigo. Yeah. Huh. I know, baby, but you're getting sleepy. Surely one of these garden stops has to have a napping station. Right. Nice hammock. Right. Just find a shady spot and lay him down in the grass while we do the stroll. Right. <laughs> Okay, we are back home now. So after garden number three, Elliot fell asleep. So we drove and followed the signs to what we thought was garden number four, but we actually missed the sign for number four and went to number five instead. But I am going to keep everything in order for you guys. So here is the footage from garden number four, and it actually ended up being the one that we visited last. So by this point, Elliot had woken back up and he was just in the car seat because we didn't want to get him in and out a bunch. So here's garden number four. This is garden number four. Feels nice, doesn't it? Oh yeah, the shade does feel really nice. So it seems as though a lot of the things that are growing here are good for the shade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, really pretty. Oh my gosh, all the water features, they're so, the sound, I just love them. Oh, this is a frog. Oh, this is a pretty flower. Oh yeah, all the pretty flowers here. Mm -hmm. Really pretty, all the landscaping right up next to the pool. Oh, there goes a chipmunk. Yeah. Oh, two chipmunks. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. Watch the steps. That's so pretty, these. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. Yeah. 
Mm. That is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, we will. Oh, really? <laughs> not moving. I am a statue. Do not see me because I am a statue. <laughs> oh, wow. And then, yeah, over here this must be theirs as well. They have a big vegetable garden. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Yeah, and that isn't that massive of a size. Like we could easily have that, the size in the side yard. Oh yeah, no question. No question. But when we missed four, we ended up going to five. And here is the footage from that. That one actually, the woman was very kind and gave me like a tour all the way around explaining everything. And it was more of just like a nicely landscaped yard. Um, but it's still very pretty. So here's that. I love the leaves on these. Hey, this is boxwood. Boxwood, okay. Boxwood. Now, I'll warn you something about boxwood. You want it in a somewhat protected area. You wouldn't want to put it out at the corner of your uh, uh, yard, your, yeah. yard there. You want it to be a little bit protected because if it gets too cold and the snow and all that, it'll end up, uh, I don't want to say it won't all die, but you'll have different spots that'll... Gotcha, gotcha. So different varieties, again, of boxwood. Over there, there's a pyramid boxwood that I'll show oh, you. Oh, okay. This here is a Calypso rose. Oh, that's beautiful. It uh, is kind of hard to find, but, you know, they got it through the landscaper. Yeah, that is beautiful. And here's another one that you ought to keep in your repertoire. I yeah. Guess. It's called the perennial geranium. It's oh, okay. Rosanne. R O Z A N N E. Okay. It's very hardy and lasts a long time. Yeah. If you have a shady area, that's a still be there. Still be? A still be. A S T I L B E. Okay. And you can see. Yeah. And so those will all be coming into color pretty soon. Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, you have the pink. That's really pretty. Now this here is a, you saw the box with there? Yeah. Like, this is a pyramid box. Right? Okay. Have almost like the topiary feel oh, to it. Right, yeah, it yeah. And then number six was hands down my favorite stop the whole time because of just the absolute massive garden itself and like the vegetable garden. So, and the owner just a little ways into it actually came up and was talking to me and then like talked me through a bunch of stuff. So you'll get to hear a lot of that as well. So here's garden number six. Look at that. Oh yeah, they have the vine going up and around. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this amazing garden. I'm obsessed. I want it.
all of the different lettuces it looks like. Oh wow. Goes and goes and goes. Oh my goodness. Look at just the sheer size of this garden. This is huge. I love this. Uh, bronze fennel. That's cool. Warming up out here, isn't it? Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah. Some kind of a some kind of a rude Becky. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Brown eyed, black eyed. It I've never seen them get quite yeah quite so, so tall. Yeah. Usually they're usually they're about half that size. Okay. So we'll see what happens with it. But I just things come up like sunflowers and I just like to watch them grow. Right. You know, is this get, this is your garden? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, this is, is like it. dream for me. <laughs> My husband and oh. I bought a house a couple years ago, and we're mm -hmm. finally to the stage now where we're like, okay, we do want to put a garden in, and yeah. we're thinking, because of the soil that we have, we're like, we're really going to have to do raised beds, yeah. um, which is okay, because yeah. we don't know what we're doing, so starting off smaller and not this grand of a scale to begin with is probably better. I've, but... I've worked my way up here, yeah. okay? <laughs> As you can see, the peppers... I was going to say, yeah, there's a ton of peppers there. Them. Yeah. yeah. These are a Greek... Okay. It's a Greek pepper that I got from my neighbor who oh, comes from Greece. Oh, very cool. And she uh, wanted me to grow her uh, pepper, so. How long have you had the garden this size? Uh, 20 years. Oh my gosh. Maybe longer. <laughs> yeah, it was bigger. Oh, goodness. I had it all the way up. A whole rectangle. Yeah. Until, until the trees, oh, the, the shade. The trees I forgot to transplant. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a little so, late now. Yeah. There's some oaks in there, uh, and a couple of maples and some pines, and so now they've taken over. Yeah. So I had to give that one back up to the grass. Yeah. What is all of this? Basil. Oh, basil. Yes. Is all of it basil? All of it. The, this whole the whole border. Oh wow! I, I basil. The whole border, with the exception of the marigolds okay I put marigolds in there but i i just i grow basil oh wow <laughs> i grow three like three flats of uh, basil oh my goodness and just everything else in here is is uh, bell peppers okay greek peppers jalapeno peppers and uh, poblano okay yeah, my uh my favorite thing is the pole beans though i just love pole beans oh is so that i plant Double All row of, of pole that. beans there, and then I, oh, this wow. year I planted some extra heirloom uh, pole beans, Ch Cherokee Tears and Weaver. That oh I, wow! That I got up at a plant uh, swap in uh, Goshen. Oh, okay. Mary, Mary Lee oh, Center cool. had one earlier in the season. So those are leeks. Okay. Radishes and carrots. Very nice. And broccoli. Okay. Brussels sprouts. Oh. Cabbage. And cabbage. In between rows of uh, garlic that I plant in the Okay. Fall. So I just said, let's just use this space. I don't yeah. like to see, I don't like to see wasted space. Right, in here, so right. Plant some more. And now a lot of this, do you like preserve it all up yourself or do you sell a lot of it or? Give it away. Okay. I used to do farmer's market. Okay, yeah. 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 So my blueberries are good. Oh my goodness, look at those. Ooh. I didn't even see that. Yeah, look at that. What are those? Uh -huh. How cool is yeah, that? that ready, Mike. My grandson is going to pick those tomorrow. Oh, how fun oh, is that? Red, blueberries and raspberries. But, oh, my goodness. I can just imagine how peaceful this is. Is that all yours, too? Back here, oh, yeah. my goodness. <laughs> I've, got, I've got another garden back there. Oh, my goodness. Then I grow my uh, root crops, like oh, potatoes. Oh, yep, yep. And then my squash that. Uh, oh, okay, that vines a, and vines, goes. Yep, right, yep. Is, and then the sweet corn. Oh, how cool. Too, so, yeah. Front rows are zucchini squash yep. and yellow squash. Okay. And then next I've got uh, acorn squash. Okay. And butternut squash. Okay. Yeah. And then the rest of these are, there's some gourds over there. I've got uh, Turk's turban I'm growing this year, okay. which is a real colorful uh, gourd, kind of oh, orange with, the, with this top on, okay. on it. And then I'm growing a birdhouse. Oh wow! Uh, board. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. the speckled swan is it oh. that has a, a body and then a big long mm -hmm. neck and it's got little yellow uh, yep. speckles on yep. it. And there's at least four different kinds of pumpkins. Oh wow! So flat stackers. Mm -hmm. There's the 
French pumpkin, uh, like Cinderella oh, yeah, yeah, type yeah. pumpkin. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm growing that this oh, year. Oh, wow. Plus the little uh, tiny uh, Like the small decorative ones. Yes. ones. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And you said this is corn? Yes. Yep, sweet corn. Very nice. It didn't take. I was going to say, small yeah. small stuff came up early, and then the rest of it didn't even germinate. Huh. So I had to replant. Oh, okay. So, but it'll be all right because it'll come on at different times. Yeah, so there you go. Instead of all coming, mm -hmm. coming at once. But overall... It was well worth the money for the tickets, well worth the time. It's like almost 90 degrees, it's like 85 degrees outside. It is very warm. So we just got home. We are getting ready to get some lunch in our stomachs and then we actually have to go back out. We have an appointment somewhere, um, but then we will be back home and just sitting under the fans. But I think it was a really, really good trip. Lots of really pretty, um, like decoration ideas and landscaping ideas. All of the gardens were beautiful. Let me know in the comments which one you guys liked the best, one through six. Uh, hopefully editing me put the numbers on the screen for you to keep track of which one is which. But like I said, number six was probably my favorite. Dan, did you have one that you especially liked? Mm. You didn't get to see very much of number six because right. you were in the car with Elliot for most of it, right. but... So, yeah, six was, six was really, really good. Six was really good. The owner was really nice and actually um, broke off, like, one of the peas that he had growing and gave it to us. So we were able to give Elliot a little bit of that. And then he had this growing, which is cool, Robbie. And he pulled this right out of the ground and then went in the house and cleaned it up for us so that we could try it because I had told him I had never tried it before. So that was really, really cool. Um... I was not expecting him to do that. That was very nice. So yeah, that was very, very cool. But thank you guys for coming along with us on this adventure. It was very, very fun. The It was very nice weather, very warm, but there was a breeze and we there were a lot of the yards had a decent amount of shade, which was also really good. So, and also I really loved that all of the different uh, gardens had an artist there painting. I thought that was so cool. I didn't really realize it until we were at like the third garden. Otherwise I would have paid more attention to getting a footage of the first and second garden, the people painting there. But overall, really, really fun adventure. And I'm hoping that this gives us a lot of ideas for when we do our own garden. But thank you guys for coming along and I will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, if you stayed to the very end of the video, you get to see us actually taste testing this kohlrabi. So it's been um, a little over a week since the garden walk, and we're only just now getting to this, and it's uh, starting to go a little bit. So we're trying to get to it, like, now, so that we actually can taste it before it goes completely bad. I don't know where to put you because I don't have my camera stand. I'm just going to kind of angle you there and hope that works. So let's cut that bit off. Okay, this is what we're looking like on the inside. Yeah, we'll just cut those little bits off there. All right. And he said he just cut it into slices, not balance. You're currently propped up on an egg carton and a gallon of water, so. There you go. Oh, he did say to peel it, didn't he? Did he say peel it? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Okay, then he just puts a little bit of salt on it. Do we want the iodized salt or the... I use that guy. This one? Yeah. Here's our masterpiece. So exciting. Yeah. That is an extremely unexpected flavor. Mm. <laughs> Are you like you need to try? <laughs> That's really interesting. I don't know what to what to make of that. I don't know if I like it or not. It's cold, it's crunchy. It's very watery, mm -hmm. 
But what is that flavor? I don't know. It's, it's just what kurabi tastes like, apparently. It's really... I don't... That's very interesting. I don't think I like it. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I, I don't know how to even describe it. It was a very good experiment. Very kind of him to share those with us. So we can try... So we could try it. But yeah, if you've had kohlrabi before, let me know in the comments what... Like, how you would describe that flavor. Because I have no idea how to describe that. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.